So, hello. Our topic for today is about integration by parts. Then, we have to follow the formula, which is the integral of u dv, wherein you have u v minus the integral of v du. But first, you know how to choose which one are you going to be your u. Now, meron tayong formula, which is the stands for the logarithm, the inverse, the algebraic, the trigonometric, and the exponential. Ito yung yung consider nyo para piliin nyo yung u. Kailangan, pwede yung may logarithm sa equation, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric, or exponential. <coughs> now, ang ginagamit natin is by parts kasi hindi na siya kaya ng direct integration. Uh, yun yung mga equation na may two or more functions in one equation. For example, you have the x and e raised to 6x. Tama? If you will solve this as direct integration, you will set this as u, which is u equals 6x. Then your du is just 6 dx. Kaya lang, meron ka pang x sa baba. So, hindi siya directly integrable. Now, you have to consider the liate for choosing the u. x is for the algebraic. Then, e raised to 6x is for the exponential. Based sa liate, a comes first before the e. So, you have to choose x as your u. Then, get the derivative of your u, which is the x, then get the rest of the equation as your dv, which is e raised to 6x dx. Ngayon, you have to integrate the dv to get the value of v. By setting your u as your 6x, then du is just 6 dx. You will have to insert 6, then balance by 1 over 6 then this will become 1 over 6, the integral of e raised to u, d u. Now, your v is simply 1 over 6, then e raised to u, which is e raised to 6x. Now, follow the formula by simply having u v minus the integral of v, d u. You will have u is x, d is 1 over 6 e raised to 6x minus the integral of v, which is 1 over 6 e raised to 6x, then your du is dx. And mapapansin nyo that this part is already directly integrable. by having e raised to u d u. Ngayon, this is constant, so pwede natin ilabas. This will become x multiplied by 1 over 6 e raised to 6x minus 1 over 6, then integral of e raised to 6x dx. By setting u as 6x, then du is 6 dx. You will have to insert 6 balanced by 1 over 6. You will now have 1 over 36. <coughs> now, your equation will be 1 over 6x e raised to 6x minus 1 over 36, then e raised to u, which is e raised to 6x plus c. Now, this will be your final answer. 